Hey guys, it's Summon here, and welcome back to another Wild Horse Island video. So, I realized that there was a few event horses of mine that I don't have a tag set yet for, so today we are going to be making tag sets for my event horses. Now, the first one I'm going to showcase, um, and this is glitzy. She is something else. Look at her. She got this beautiful present. She's got these glasses and these like, I don't know about the boppers, but for now we're keeping them. And she's got the stars and she's got like this matching sleigh and she's just like, she's just looking real good. So I was struggling to think of a name for her. I was like, I could name her one of the actual reindeer names. So I was thinking I could name her like Blitzen, but then I was like, mm, I don't know. And then I was thinking about naming her Glitter as well. And I just like, I didn't know. So this is Glitzy. Um, so anyways, let's go take a look at our event sets that we have to make. Okay, so we have got the Pink Hearted Leopard Appaloosa, the Pink Pinto Paint Horse, the Lavender Storm Thoroughbred, and then the Overcast Appaloosa. So I think that we'll just start at the top and work our way down. So this is a V1 horse, as you can see here. But you guys may remember my horse, Natalie, from a previous tack making video. Oh yeah, um, she's not Natalie anymore. She is now a four trade horse because the the mane and tail and her whole former set really just was not it was not sitting with me. I didn't really have much of an attachment to her, so I took off her red pearl set, and I think that red pearl um, would look pretty good on our horse here. So I think that we will do that one, and then that's why all of her stuff was locked. Um, it was because it was just on Natalie. Um, so we'll just transfer these over. Okay, okay. It's not bad, not bad. It's definitely better than what it was on that other coat. That coat was just not... It was not fitting very well. I just didn't like how it was looking. I wish I still had that dye, though. I feel like I always waste my good dyes. Would Sunset Fade look good, or would that be, like... Would that be too much? Should we just leave it pink? I don't want to wreck it with dyeing things again, so we'll just keep it like this. And then I have this, like, hot pink aura... But I don't know if it fits that good. I guess that'll be it for this here horse. And then I also have Natalie's um, saddle and bridle, which we will go ahead and put on. There we go. This set may change when the Valentine's event comes out because there could be a cute like Valentine pattern item that I would want to put on this horse instead. Um, but this horse is a boy, so I think that we are going to do a gender swap. There we go. She's now a mare. Okay, I just looked up some name ideas, and I think that we are going to name this horse Madeline. I think that that would be pretty cute, and then we're going to spell it this way. So this is Madeline, our horse. Let's go ahead and move on to our next set. Um, we're going to go ahead and do our pink pinto paint horse here. And then I also have a tack set in mind for this here horse. Um, I think that we're going to do this one. Oh, not that one. This one. I had it on, um, I had it on, like, this Clydesdale, but it really did not look that good. Like, even my sister was like, Lemon, that does not look good. What are you doing with that set on that horse? Um, so I took it off. So this is the perfect time to put it on this horse. Definitely looks better. So we'll go ahead and add the tail ribbon and then, of course, the head ribbon. There we go. And then I don't have anything for the legs. Um, I did not get those items, unfortunately. So, in the meantime, she's not going to have anything. Let's see if I have any other stuff to put on. I have these ruby, um, horseshoes, but I really don't have, like, any good accessories that would go with this. Okay, I have a chocolate dipped strawberry, so I guess we'll go with that because I really don't have anything else. And then we will go ahead and put on this Valentine's halter, um... That seems to match for the most part, so we'll just go with that. And then we need to craft a saddle. And then I also think that I'm gonna style their mane, but we will do that once um, I make sets for the other two, so then we can just do all the styling at once at the end. Alright, we're doing a white and clear quartz all-purpose saddle. Mm, or should I do ruby? Eh, it's fine. We'll just go with it. Okay, we looked up some more names, so I think that we're gonna name this pretty girl Dolly. So... This is Dolly, our horse. 
Mm, I don't know if the mouth chocolate is really fitting, but we'll probably find some more stuff for um, these horses when the Valentine's event comes because it's coming very soon. So I'll probably end up updating their sets then, but I figured I might as well add them in this video. Next up, we got a Lavender Storm Thoroughbred. Now, I'm surprised that I didn't make a set for this horse yet, but I know I have an idea of one thing that we need to add, and that would be um, Rory's Lightning Bolt Aura. One, it's purple. Two, it's not Lightning Bolt, so I think it would just be perfect. And then let's take a look at the other Lightning Bolt stuff I have. I think that will put this Amethyst Face lightning bolt to start and then I don't really have another purple one or I can make them both neon like that because then we have a face and a tail one that looks pretty good I like that a lot and it just so happens that we got both of those from the unicorn academy event so that just works out perfect for us now in terms of purple things I definitely could do a Rory's purple set but I already do have that on my horse wisteria I mean, another one wouldn't hurt, but I'm just not the biggest fan of reusing, like, set colors, I guess. So, I'll just take a look at these colors. Okay. So, in terms of purple, we have dark purple, purple, bright purple, volcanic purple, neon purple, fabric purple, shiny purple. You know, maybe it's it's okay if we do another Rory's purple set. I already have the stuff. Um, and it's a pretty good purple if I do say so myself, so I guess we'll just go along with it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I have an amethyst kayak paddle, but that does not fit. Okay, I guess that this is what we're going with. And then tack-wise, we'll do another Rory's purple. We have a silver barrel saddle that I just equipped. And then I also have a silver dressage bridle, which works out. So we'll go ahead and lock those. This looks alright. Do the lightning bolts look kind of out of place though? You know, maybe to tie in like the neon of the lightning bolts, I can keep like the Rory's purple stuff down here, but maybe if I do like a neon saddle pad, I think that would look pretty good. Here we go, neon craft. Let's see. Okay, yeah, that definitely uh, ties in the elements of the lightning bolts. And then I think we're good if we don't do anything on the legs. Um, it just kind of... This looks pretty cool. I'm happy with this. So we could name this horse... It's Lavender Storm. We can name this horse, like, Lightning or Thunder. I kind of like Thunder. But I also like Lightning because it's, like, Lightning Bolts. But I feel like Lightning is just, like... Makes me think of, like, the movie Cars. But it's a Lightning Bolt. So I guess it's only fitting. This will be our horse, Lightning. Here we go, Lightning, you are looking pretty good. And then, I think I would want to make his tail longer, or maybe I'll leave it, I don't know. We'll see when we get to the styling of our horses. And then I think that we have one final event set to make. We have the Overcast Appaloosa. I don't know what I'm gonna, what am I gonna do for this? Ooh, honestly, the Storm's Lightning might have looked good. Ooh, actually, I have some blue pearl stuff. Blue Pearl might look good on this horse. Okay, yeah, and I actually have, like, everything I need for Blue Pearl, so I think we'll do Blue Pearl. I just need to craft a saddle pad. Okay, it doesn't look so good at night, but in the daytime, it'll look better. Because the Pearl stuff always, like, it gets different at the night, during, um, the night and day. Okay. I don't know how I feel about this head bow. I think that we're just gonna keep the crown. I don't really like the bows. I more so like the ribbons. But I didn't have a ribbon, so we have a bow on the tail. Let's um, craft a saddle pad, because we need that. And then we also need the bridle and saddle. We'll do a western one. Blue pearl and craft. Perfect. It will look better once the sun comes up. Don't worry. Let's do this. And then, oh, I'm out of leather. Let's head over to Larry. We need to get more leather. Oh, there's a cool carriage for sale, but I don't need that. I have so many carriages in my inventory from just, like, carriages that I bought, and I never use them. Like, they just kind of sit there in my inventory. Alright, we just want some leather. We'll get a hundred, just to stock up, because I make a lot of tax sets. Ooh, I actually have an overcast that's a boy, so I might swap this one to a boy one. Well, this one has terrible stats, but it's fine. Oh, I have a Christmas tree topper. <laughs> this looks so silly. Oh my gosh, this looks so silly. 
Okay, we got the crown back. Color, I think that we'll just go with white. And then tear, I think that silver would look good. There we go. And we got an all-purpose saddle. Awesome. This looks pretty good. And then the daytime is coming, so this looks a little better. So let's make our way over to Sweeties and let's get our horses all um, styled. So I think this one's tail just needs to be fixed. This one has very bad stats, but it's okay. Okay, for hairstyles, there's... No, I didn't mean to do that. Um, I accidentally accepted that. It doesn't look too bad, though. I kind of like it. And then here's the pearl looking a little better. It's not perfect, but I think that the pearl is a pretty good color for this horse. Okay, let's try that again. Um, let's go to the tail. Let's see, what could we do? I actually think that the medium layered looks kind of nice, so we'll go ahead and do that. Alright, and then we'll keep the button braid. I mean, I did it on accident, but it looks fine. And then this guy needs, like, at least a few bond, so we'll give him, we'll give him this candy heart. There you go. <laughs> Let's style our other horses. We have Madeline first. Okay, I think that we'll do the short neat and the long braided blunt. I think that this looks fine on this horse. And then let's do our next one. Let's do Dolly. We'll have hers braided. And then her tail was braided from the previous owner. So we'll just keep the tail braided. And then here is how Dolly looks now. All right. I like it. You know, honestly, uh, Lightning's, Lightning looks fine. I think that we'll keep Lightning as he is. Um, so yeah, anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this, um, tack set making video. I'm happy to have tack sets for some more of my event horses. Um, so yeah, subscribe for more Wild Horse Islands content, and I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Goodbye, everybody.